All right, man. Let's do a Caro Caro Bonito tier list. Bonito, <laughs> Bonito tier list. Uh, yeah, they got a short catalog, so it's gonna be a short video, obviously. Uh, I don't really have any notes. I mean, I split Civilization up into one and two. That's all I really gotta say. I did that just because um, I don't know. I felt like it. I, I really have no other reason to do it just to make this video a little longer. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Let's just get into it. Starting us off at the bottom. We got Intro Bonito going into D tier. Um, I think KKB kind of balances, does this balancing act of kind of being playful, but also like having good music, you know, that everyone can enjoy. I feel like here though, it kind of sounds like they're making preschool music. Um, there are some good songs admittedly, but it like certain tracks on here, just the subject matter, whether it be about like dogs, cats, I think there's one about a playground. It just ends up sounding like, as I said, like, preschool music like you could throw this on and preschoolers will like it yeah there's nothing inherently wrong with that i'm just not the target audience I, at least i feel like i'm not the target audience for this album as i said though there's some good songs it just suffers from having like it leans into the childish uh, side of kkb a little too much on here uh yeah it's a strong four to a light five honestly it's okay actually it's a light five it's a, it's okay it's okay and then c tier we got to tote ep Ta tip. I, I don't know how to say it. Um, but yeah, it, it's a. I think my problem with this one is it's a little sleepy. I genuinely think. I'm sorry, I'm just moving stuff around. I just think my problem with this EP is that the production's just a little sleepy. I feel like. I'm pretty sure her name's Sarah. Her vocal performance is a little less energetic. I feel like her vocals in general kind of get a little repetitive at times if you listen to too much KKB at once. But I feel like with this thing, just the more laid back production kind of brings it down for me. It doesn't really, I just I just think like, why would I listen to this over time and place? It feels like time and place demos. It feels like time and place, like, it just feels like demos or um, leftovers, you know? I think this actually came out before time and place, but it just ends up feeling like they're getting onto something like, oh, we should do this. But then they do it better on time and place, you know? The first track is all right. Second track is literally just a demo. Like I said, it's a skip. And then the last two tracks are good, too. It's it's a light seven for me, you know? And then both going into B tier, we got both Civilizations. I'll probably put Civilization 1 over Civilization 2. But, um, yeah, they're both really great EPs. I like Civilization. Well, I'll just talk about Civilization 1, Civilization 1 right now. Um, it's a great EP. The first and second track are really good. The closer is just okay, though. It's nothing like crazy that they're doing here, but it's still really enjoyable. As for Civilization 2, the first track is boring, the second track is great, and the closer is like peak. I actually I'll put Civilization 2 Civilization 2 above um 1. That last track is just crazy though. I'm pretty sure it's like 5 minutes long. It's really funky. It's crazy. It's like nothing they've ever done. Um it's a really fun song. Uh yeah, both Civilizations are like light eights though. Very funny piece. And then I'll throw Bonito Generation? I'm throwing this either in A or S. I'll actually put it... I'll put it... I'll put it in A tier. It's just a really consistent collection of fun pop songs. It really picks up at the end, as it did start week. But yeah, I just... I think it's a really fun album. It's really nothing crazy. Like, I just, I just feel like KKB, they make really fun, enjoyable music that you just spin in the background. And um, yeah, just enjoy. I, I really don't know what else to say. They don't make anything life-changing, but they don't really make inherently boring music. They just make really fun music, and this is definitely um, this definitely shows that. Uh, Bonito Generation is a light to decent nine for me. I enjoy it quite a bit. And then S tier, we have Time and Place. Uh, it's a skipless banger of an album. It's got this more like rocky sound to it. I love the opener on here. That's probably one of, if not my favorite KKB song. I feel like that. Or the closer to Civilization 2 is my favorite one. Um, yeah, I think that what I love about Time and Place is the range of sounds on here. You have a track like The Opener, which is crazy. I love that song. And then you have a song on here like Only Acting or um, Dear Future Self, I think that's what it's called. Or maybe it's like Dear Future Me to make it sound more playful. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that song's really good. But then there's also a song on here where... Like, it sounds like a folk song. I, that song was wild. Like, I had no idea what was going on. It's it's a really weird album. Uh, it's got some of the best KKB songs on here. It's just, as I said, a skipless banger of a record. It's a, light, it's a decent two-strong nine for me. I enjoy it quite a bit. 
And there's my KKB tier list. I didn't think this would be a long video. It's pretty short. Um, I'll zoom in. Uh, that should be fine. But um, yeah, it should. They have a pretty fun discography. I think Intro Bonito is a little eh, but everything else is good too. Pretty great, man. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy the music. And yeah, that's my ranking. Share your rankings in the comments as always, you know? Uh, which civilization is better, one or two? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. Just share your opinions in the comments as always, you know? And uh, yeah, I'm glad you made it this far in the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.